Welcome back to another episode of Unleashed Alchemy, where I help you embrace your spiritual elevation so that you can stand firm in your goddess, God power to go against any established grain so that you can bring about enchantments in your life and ultimately the world. All right. Thank you so much for being here right off top. You're going to hear a bunch of noise. There's nothing I can do about it right now, but just stay tuned for the message. So I know that this is the time during about probably about this time, maybe even before this time, you are going to hear messages about how you need to start planning for the next year or you need to start planning for the next quarter of next year the first quarter of next year how you just need to start planning 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 and you're going to see you know posts and messages about you know creating your vision or creating your vision board and all of those things for this upcoming year of eight now there is absolutely nothing wrong with that there is absolutely nothing wrong It's actually quite beautiful to set your intention for even the next moment okay not so much the next year but in every next moment because all we have is right now so we are designed to where we can create our intention set the intention and create what we want to see for ourselves in each and every moment now with that being said many of you have experienced a spiritual elevation probably this may be your first spiritual some people call it awakening call it what you want spiritual transformation um, maybe this is this year has presented challenges or opportunities disguised as challenges simply no or not simply but it was designed the challenges were designed for you to shed archaic programming to clear out ancestral trauma of all kind to rid yourself of programming that will not serve this next evolution that you have made a choice to step into. Along with that adjustment, along with that alignment, along with adopting a new operating system, you may be looking in your environment and it looks completely different than your environment that you began with earlier this year at the start of this year perhaps you're looking around and you don't see some of the same people perhaps you're looking around and your job looks different your career looks different you have new dreams. The dream that you once had, that looks different. You're not excited about any of it. Maybe your friends look different. Maybe your friends have decreased. Maybe a romantic relationship has phased out. Perhaps you have lost contact with family members that you were once close to, perhaps at, quite literally, your physical environment looks different because for the opportunity disguised as a challenge, you had to move, physically move locations. And while the spiritual, the internal evolution that has taken place has been one that you've said I wouldn't trade this for anything the external can bring about feelings of sadness can bring about feelings of loss you may feel like you have lost 
you may feel like you are grieving the loss, that you are grieving the loss of a career, perhaps the loss of a dream, the loss of a relationship. So what I would invite you to do before planning anything, what I would really invite you to do is spend the time, spend, use the last, what is it, four, 14 days, the last two weeks of this calendar year, paying attention to your body and really asking, what does my body need? Do I need to, have I grieved? Have I given my space, myself the space to grieve what I feel like I've lost? Have I allowed certain emotions to get lodged into my nervous system that actually need to be alchemized or disintegrated before I begin to dive into a plan for anything? Do I need to do a clean? Actually, I would highly suggest that you go about doing an energy cleanse, whatever that looks like for you. There's different modalities, uh, that which I talk about in my Unleashed Alchemy Mystery School. Uh, there's water rituals that you can do to clear out, to set the intention to clear out your vessel, because that is what we are. We are energetic beings, we are vessels that came here armed, with our unique spiritual science, with our unique spiritual calling that we came here to live in, to exist in, to be in, to carry out. All right. So this is, I know this is a very short video, but I felt the need to come on here and say that, that even if you don't do the typical official plan for two for 2024 before 2024 get, gets here that's fine you may choose through your cleansing through your taking time to grieve what is no longer you taking time to do that may be more beneficial than you sitting there taking the time to plan before 2024 gets here. You may find that through your cleansing, through your grieving, through you paying attention to your body, you may find, okay, you know, actually, I don't need to plan anything until February 2024. All right? So I just wanted to drop that message to you. Let me know if you are, feel so inclined to do so. If you have already started, perhaps you have started. Perhaps you have started to plan for 2024 and set your intention because that's what feels exciting to you. Let me know what your intentions are. Uh, if you are so inclined, let me know how you go about doing energy clearing for yourself. All right. So that is the message for this video. And until next time, cheers.